We're going to do our guttering there, over there and uh, I've got a hat on. This is my favourite hat and um, I take it everywhere. Uh, but uh, if I take it off, I get hat hair. I'm not showing you my hat hair. Right, so today we're going to put our um, piping up. So what we've got here is a two metre piece of guttering. We've got three of these things, which are clips. We've got an end piece. And we've got a uh, another end piece with the downpipe. The downpipe will go into this bit over here, which I'll need to saw. And then I'll also angle into the head of the bin over here. I'm not gonna really be measuring anything. Um, the reason is measuring gives you precision. It doesn't always give you accuracy. So I'm just gonna guess the whole way. However, what I have noticed with this is that there, this is not the best shed in the world. Um, and you've probably noticed that. We've got mosquitoes down here, which is a bit annoying. So I'm gonna be lots of doing lots of jumping and stuff. So this shed has got an internal frame. I'm gonna be trying to fit these fixtures using screws that go onto the frame. So rather than physically measure things out, I'm just gonna look for where the frame is and go for the frame to give it maximum chance of um, then it won't fall apart at the end. Uh, so that's the goal. So what have I got here as in tools? Literally a bunch of screws here. Um, I've got a cordless drill and quite importantly, I've got over here, I've got some uh, flow plast cement um, and this will help glue the pipes together with the joins where necessary. That's going to be really useful for the downpipe mainly. So we're going to have it, give it a go and uh, I've got it on the time lapse so you'll be able to see how it's going. If I spot anything unusual, I'll pause and give a little report on it. Um, this unfortunately is about two inches too short, but I'm not buying another length of this. So tough um, I have to work within that parameter. The other thing, the other thing to think about is the slope. So if you're doing guttering, you've got to think about gradient. So I'm going to do the gradient of about this much over the whole length of two meters. So what's that? One, two, maybe even three percent gradient, probably two percent gradient. Uh, again, I'm not really measuring it. I'm using my eye. I'm using the horizontal boards that go across this, um, these, uh, the feathering here as a visual guide as to how to go. I'm not going to do all my pre-drilling all at once. I'm just going to do one piece at a time, uh, build, measure, learn, adapt, and build it that way. First, first bump in the road is with these. So the shed has got slats which are at an angle. So these are going to be, instead of fixing them like this, they're going to be slightly like this, which is suboptimal. So we'll have to bear with that, unfortunately. I think it'll still work, but um, it's going to look a little bit strange, I think, unless I were to put something behind it kind of um, yeah I probably could actually I could just not screw it in so much at the top yeah we'll try that good news is I can tell where these uh, vertical frame is going up because I can see the studs uh, the the nails pop through which are already attached so I'm using that as my guide right I might need to lower this side slightly by about an inch or so because I'm not too happy because of the extra angle um, so I will do that now Going so well it's now okay in place but I've got the wrong end piece it's a bit too deep so I need to go and get the right one Fortunately, I know the man to go to. Uh, I just suspect I grabbed the wrong one out of his bucket. So um, I'm gonna need help from OBB for this particular bit, unless I drive all the way down to Wicks. So we might have to put a little pause on it.
Uh, well, actually, I'll just stick it on at the end because the fact is, it's on a gradient, so it's never going to leak out that way anyway. So you can see it's all going not too bad. One minor blip. Okay, so the top bit's done. So we've got it going all the way up here. We're just missing the end piece there. And now we just need to fit the bottom bit in and need to do a little bit of sawing for that to happen, which I shall do here. Whoops. I have no idea which way you're supposed to put these Flow Plus things, so I'm going to do a quick Google and find out. Um, I think it's basically thick end at the top. Uh, one of the clues is kind of common sense. You want it to be able to hold the weight of what's above it. Additionally, its writing is, you can read that writing, you probably can't quite focused but there's writing and thinking if you want to read it uh, you can't read it easily that way you can read it easily this way so this is pretty much all the diagrams show this way even though I found no actual anything in English which describes that it should be the thick end on top and small end the bottom so we're gonna go with that This stuff uh, glues really quite quickly. I'm going to leave it to set for a few minutes before doing anything else. Ta-da! Uh, sorry you had to see that work. So that's going to set. Once that's set, we will put a little bit on there, then we're done. Uh, it's as simple as that. i just got to find the end piece to stick on. Uh, I may put a clamp on here as well, actually, but we'll let the glue do its job first. Those fails, read the instructions. It takes 10 minutes to set, that's what it says. Hold it for 10 seconds, wipe off excess. Joint should not be disturbed for at least 10 minutes. I think I've broken about three of those rules, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Right, so uh, that's pretty much dry now, ready to go. I'm going to cut off a, another section here, and I'm going to loosely attach it to here. The idea is, when that's all settled and stopped moving around, I'll probably drill a hole the size of that so it goes in to the top of the... Sorry, aeroplane above. Uh, it goes into the top of the, um, the old wheelie bin. And that way it looks a little bit neater. But if I do that now, then it shifts. It's going to be askew. So I'm just going to let that settle for a, probably a couple of weeks before doing that. In the meantime, I'll just put uh, an 8 inch piece in there 
which will reach all the way along and do the job. Then I'm going to chuck a bucket of water on it and see if it works. Okay, uh, we're pretty much ready to test. This, this bit here might fall off. I have no idea, we'll see. Uh, but I'm just gonna test it with a bucket of water, see if it works. I have no idea what will happen. Well, hopefully it will work. There we go. It's alive! <laughs> it's actually working. It's working slightly better than I thought. Listen to that. There we go. So what we've got to do left is stick an end piece on here and then uh, do this bit here, glue this in if that's okay, or maybe extend it so it goes straight through, drill a little hole here um, if I'm that bothered. I'm not sure why I should be. If you think I should be, stick it in the comments or something and I will learn something new. Anyway, have a great one. One more thing, I didn't need the brackets. So these things which uh, I have here um, didn't really, weren't really needed. Hopefully they weren't needed. We're not using them anyway, so. Here we have it, uh, we got an internal end piece. It saves about a pound and a half in terms of cost. And that will need to be glued on the inside of the end piece over here. So we've got our uh, solvent cement. So you hold that in place for 10 seconds and it's gone off by 10 minutes. And the only other thing I was going to do, um, aside from maybe solvating this piece, piece in here, is to get a few more holes in this lid. This lid acts really well. Uh, it's inverted as a leaf capturer, so, um, or like a giant tea strainer. So we're going to use that for now. And if I want to change it and put a hole into there, that's fine too. But I'm going to get a lot of leaves coming in. And I've noticed a whole load of leaves are making their way down through here. So I've kind of got that. I don't really want that in my water. So I'm just going to put a few small holes in here with a drill or with a wood drill bit, a small one. There we go. Job done. So uh, you'll probably have a little peek and see what I've done there. You can't because there's cameras on the phone. Okay, fine. Turn that off. Okay, uh, there we go, you can see three small holes here. That'll deal with most of the stuff that comes in here eventually. Is it enough? I'll let you know if it's overflowing. Okay, so that's it, we've 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 completed. I'm just gonna put all the stuff away. So if you enjoyed that, please do subscribe, that'll encourage me and also give me the nod to create some more of these things uh, and uh, hopefully that's helped you out with some ideas and inspiration. Until next time, see you later.